You've gone through four years of medical school. What do you actually learn? Don't mess with the pancreas? Honestly, most of us, including myself, don't give this question enough thought. But as 2019 comes to an end and I've recently graduated medical school this year, I thought I'd go ahead and give you my top five things that I've learned after four years of medical school. Let's get into it. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's episode is kind of like a closing of 2019 where I recently graduated medical school and I wanted to give you the takeaway that I've had after four years of medical school that hopefully you can take and use on your journey. And these are gonna be some big takeaways and not things such as don't F with the pancreas or that that hospital coffee kind of sucks. Before we get started, make sure that if you enjoyed the content of this video or if you just really wanna support the channel, then go ahead and hit that like button to help this video get in front of more people. It literally takes like half a second. Like just, just, just do it now. Um, and if you haven't joined the community for the MD Journey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos just like this one. But I wanna be respectful of your time, so let's get into the big five takeaways. Now, takeaway number one is that your experience is determined from your attitude day one. Now, honestly, this is something that I fell through by mistake. When I was interviewing for medical school, somebody had asked me during one of my interviews, what do you wanna take away from medical school? And I thought of something interesting, which is I didn't want medical school to be a stepping stone towards residency. Instead, I wanted it to be four years that I looked at in a positive light. And I took that answer, although I kind of like made it up on the fly and made sure that I actually lived by that when I was in medical school. It's actually very typical of students to go through medical school trying to get to the next phase of their training. Oh, I'm just trying to get to residency or I'm just trying to get through fellowship or being a coming attending or you know going to a certain institution. But one thing you'll learn in medicine, guys, really quickly is that really there's no finish line. There's always something more that you're trying to progress and then the promotion in your medical career that you're trying to reach. So you might as well enjoy every phase of it. So to make sure that medical school is enjoyable for those four years, you need to be sure that you're not just starting day one and the mindset that medical school is gonna get you that dream specialty, you know, that dermatology and orthopedics. You know who you are but really keep that mindset that attitude and how you approach medical school and how you look at it really will determine your experience i promise you'll change the game so advice number two and this is something that i've realized hindsight 2020 after doing the md journey for about three four years is that everything is not as bad as it seems if you look at it in the form of advice now here's what i mean when I originally started medical school, every medical student has a tendency to complain, including myself. The lecturers sucked, the class was too hard, the test was too hard, I didn't get enough sleep, you know, I'm not getting enough exercise. The whole world seems like it's kind of falling uh, on top of us. But if you look at each experience and you say, what could be the silver lining of this? What nugget can I take to one help somebody who one day will be in the shoes um, if I had to give them advice? Or, you know, what nugget would I take away to one day help me if I was to find myself again in the situation? You know, I obviously have to do this a lot for the blog, the YouTube um, channel, because I always have to kind of frame different experiences, different situations, and then form advice for you guys. But they're all true advices. Those are things that I've taken away that I've been able to use myself in future encounters. You know, if an evaluation didn't go well, well what do you do? You know, if a test grade doesn't go well, what do you do? Those are videos that I've been making for you guys based off of experience that I've had. So again, medical school is not as bad as it seems if you think at it in the form of advice. One day somebody may actually ask you for advice and you're gonna be like that wise wizard guru that's been like, man, that, that, was, that was wonderful, thank you. And honestly, there are gonna be some times where you're going to look at the silver lining never have to give that advice, but the only person who really has to help is you. So look at it in the form of advice and your whole mindset and perspective changes on how medical school and all of the valleys, as well as the hills, um, will seem to you. Before we get to takeaway number three, quick reminder that if for some reason you're still watching this video, that like button hasn't been hit. I think it's over here. D just take a, a tech, take a second. All right, let's get into it. So takeaway number three is keep looking for your golden nuggets. Now I know those of you guys that have been seasoned through my YouTube channel know about my golden nugget theory. Basically it's this, every experience that you have in medical school that's amazing, test goes well, a patient experience is amazing, has some form of effort that you did to get that result. You know, you studied really hard or you worked on building your patient rapport, but that patient, you know, experience, that test grade was worth the effort you put in. So next time you find yourself demotivated, kind of in a slump, ask yourself, are those experiences worth having again? The answer is obviously absolutely yes. So ask yourself, what effort did you do to get those results? Because next time you have a test that you're feeling stressed about and concerned about doing well on, you're gonna think back to the last time that you did really well, what you did, and you're gonna to try to put in the same amount of effort to ideally get the same result. 
it's not always going to work out. You know, building patient rapport is not always going to lead to an amazing patient experience, but one day it's going to, that's going to add to the golden nuggets that you have. You're going to continue to do better on your tests. You're going to have more test experiences to remember where the result ended up being really well because of the effort that you put in. So hold on to those golden nuggets, use those to motivate you in future encounters. I promise you, you're going to basically remain motivated and continue to remain motivated throughout your medical journey. So takeaway number four is a huge one. And I really want you guys to listen up because sometimes people don't take this one seriously. And that is that you really won't remember your grades, but instead the experiences and the people. You know, my Angelo has a very amazing quote that I have to read where it says, you know, I've learned that people will forget what you've said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And honestly, this goes for what you do to others, but also what others do to you. You know, I don't really remember you know, how I did anatomy, how I did in biochem. Uh, I barely remember that cell bio as a class, but I do remember my best friends in medical school, the patient experience that I've had, their names, you know, what they looked like, um, the professors and lecturers and attendings that I've had that completely have changed how I look at medicine and the kind of doctor I currently am. So make sure that you understand which elements of medical school are valuable. And it's not the numbers that you get on your final score, it's the people who will lead you to become a better and smarter physician. And if you value the numbers over the people and the experiences, when it comes time to talk about your experiences and the people who really made you you during residency interviews and fellowship interviews, you're really just not gonna have a lot to fall back on. So make sure you understand that medical school is all about your experiences and the people, the grades will come, the knowledge will come. Uh, but those are things that you should prioritize. Now, takeaway number five is something that I personally do. It's not something that you necessarily have to, but it completely has changed my mindset of how I look at things. And that's basically when somebody asks me, you know, Lux, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing good. I can't complain. Um, that's kind of been my natural response to things um, until somebody said, you know, yeah, you, you can't complain. You're a medical student. You're a resident. Um, and I've realized that saying I can't complain, my attitude is always that things aren't as bad as they seem. Um, you know, if something is hard, then I can get through it. Go ahead and smile and just fight through it because eventually I'm going to encounter something that is going to be more stressful. It's going to be harder. I um, mean, all these past experiences that I complained about are really going to seem um, like pieces of cake. So always look at something in the light of, you know, do I I really need to stress about this can I get through and if the answer is yes then just go ahead and put your head down smile and say that I could do it as well but those guys are my big five takeaways from finishing medical school hopefully you guys have enjoyed them if I missed something or if you really enjoyed one of them just let me know in the comment section down below quick reminder every week we are looking in the comment section um, and going ahead and selecting one lucky winner um, to be selected for a free ebook or a video course from the website so go ahead and drop your comments and make sure you subscribe and like the video to help this channel as well as this video get in front of more people to help us grow as 2020 comes around but thank you guys so much for being a part of not only this video but being part of the md journey throughout all of night 2019 as well as even longer if you have been i'm super blessed to have you guys as a part of my community as part of my family hopefully i've been a little help to you on yours i'm looking forward to making 2020 an even better year so i'll see you guys then peace